Hello YouTube. This video documents the building of a remote controlled bird feeder so that I could feed the birds while I was on vacation. The bird seed is augered out using a 1 and 3 8 inch wood auger bit driven by a synchronous motor connected with a flexible coupling. This synchronous motor is 120 volt AC, which works well with my SmartThings appliance module so that I could control it remotely or on a timer. It is about 5 RPM, which gives me a lot of torque in order to turn the wood bit. Be sure and pick a motor that you can wire to always turn in the same direction, period. Many of the synchronous motors will randomly start up either direction. I had to drill out the quick coupler to fit both shafts of the motor and of the wood auger bit. And also decided instead of using a set screw to just drill the hole all the way through and use the cross drilled hole in the shaft with a cotter pin. I used a one and a half inch sink P-trap adapter and an inch and a half PVC T-fitting to go through the bucket wall and to support the auger. I had to modify the nut of the P-trap adapter by cutting off the end flange with the bandsaw in order to get it to pull up tight against the bucket wall. I fabricated an angle bracket to mount the motor to the bottom of the bucket using a galvanized deck bracket I found in a big box store. I temporarily wired up the motor to make sure that everything worked and the alignment was okay. I made a flat bottom for the bucket out of a piece of plywood found out though that the hole size was too small for the bird seed to flow through reliably. So I opened up the T-fitting into a much larger opening and also opened up the floor to make more of a funnel to feed it in. I used expanding foam to fill the space and carve it to get a smooth transition. With the leftover expanding foam, I decided to try to make a, a wedge-shaped funnel, if you will, to feed the seed to the opening slot. It didn't turn out real good, but it was good enough to, to try out the idea. After my first test run, I found that a lot of bird seed was coming out the end of the tee into the bucket, so I made this forked shape plate that could slip down over the auger bit shank to help prevent it from coming in and that helped the seed output quite a bit onto the feeder tray. I made the feed tray out of a piece of plywood that I bolted to the bottom of the bucket and then bolted some small PVC pipe to for form the rails. I used an old extension cord as the power into the bucket using a Romex clamp coming up through the bottom. When I got home I had found that the squirrels had chewed through the lid to get to the bird seed. Obviously going to need a metal 5 gallon bucket or some other container to prevent this from happening. Other than that the feeder worked very well I'm pleased with how it turned out. Thanks for watching.